Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetShoot.com and today we have the Acer Liquid Jade with us and we are here at the Acer event in India. They have launched two devices. One is the Acer Liquid E700 which is launched at 11,999 whereas this device which is called Acer Jade which is slightly better in terms of the build quality as well as in terms of the look. It looks much more premium as compared to E700. Although both of these two phones have the same hardware specification but this phone is priced 16,999. Both of these phones will be available on Snapchat deal from tomorrow and you can buy them after 12 uh, 12 noon talking about the phone we have this phone available in these two colors as you can see both of these two colors look very good the overall build quality of this phone is something which is very impressive and it is also very slim this is one of the slimmest phone i have seen especially with this hardware which is mediatek 6582 chipset it is a quad core 1.3 gigahertz processor which we have on this phone this phone is available in these two colors and again the back finish is glossy as you can see it will get fingerprints and scratches very easily but again it is quite resistant to basically any kind of scratches which you might see because it has a kind of coating which is there as far as color comparison comes i would say the white color looks better and the white color does have a white bezel on the front which is the good thing over here and one thing which i can easily notice is that the metallic earpiece is also nicely designed it looks very nice very different from any other smartphone out there we have a front camera over here which is a 2 megapixel camera the rear camera on these two devices is 13 megapixel camera so this is something which you are getting extra on this device so you're getting 13 megapixel camera on the Acer Liquid Jade as compared to the 8 megapixel camera which you get on Acer Liquid E700. So this is one thing which you're getting extra over here. The camera is pretty big and it is kind of bulging out from the back side. So if you place the device like this on a table, it, uh, it will wabble a bit basically. First of all, let's compare these two colors. So in terms of color comparison, I can say the white color definitely looks kind of premium the black one looks classy but the black one will get a lot of fingerprints and scratches over time which will be visible however the same will not happen over here on the white one which is good and the front we can see that we have the black bezel on the black one and the white bezel on the white one and again the overall design and the form factor of this device is very nice it is around 110 gram which makes this phone very light uh, with the kind of hardware it has and it has a 5 inch display and very thin bezels so these thin bezels just allows you to use the display on this device quite effectively with one hand so one handed usage of this device is better because of this thin display and the overall design profile of the device is definitely better uh, if you compare it with the E700 or any other phone out there in the same price segment. So we will take a look over the white version as of now. Here we have the Acer Liquid J which looks good. It has a curved design at the back side which will give you a very nice feel when you hold the phone in one hand but the grip will not be that great because it has a glossy back panel so the grip is not that great. Uh, it becomes slippery over time once we start using it we have the Acer branding over here which is very nicely finished we have the 13 megapixel camera at the back we have LED flash and we have a second microphone for noise cancellation we have the prime uh, the 3.5 audio jack we have the power and sleep key and we have the uh, volume rocker this is the volume rocker which gives you decent amount of feedback and the power and sleep key also give you decent amount of feedback you can easily locate them as well at the bottom you have the micro report for data syncing and charging you have a prime microphone as well on this device we have this loudspeaker which is at the back and again the loudspeaker is kind of nicely designed and it is pretty loud it has dts ht sound as well which is a very good sound experience which you will have on this phone as far as loudspeaker is concerned we have the nice metal earpiece which is kind of circular looks very nice and finish very nicely in terms of the material which has been used the overall build quality and the premiumness of the phone is something which you can easily feel once you hold this phone in one hand we have the proximity and embed light sensors as well we have two megapixel fixed focus front camera and at the bottom on the front we have the touch capacitor buttons which are there within the display so they are not on the body of the phone which is the case and we have the ASUS branding over here this is how the display looks like the display is an IPS LC display and it is giving pretty good viewing angles so if we take a look over the display on this device we can see that the display viewing angles are very nice and you can actually use this device without any issues but in sunlight the visibility is impacted a bit but you can always increase the brightness to see the display in sunlight the display is kind of reflective but you will be able to see it from extreme viewing angles without any issues the overall build quality in the form factor is good the display is also nice let's take a look over the software ui so this is how the notification center look like let me just go into settings directly and on the settings we can show you the version of android which we have on this phone so we have android 4.4.2 kitkat which is the same version which we get on the liquid e700 as well talking about storage i can show you the storage scenario as well so on the storage front this device has 16 gb of internal storage and one thing which is uh, not missing on this 
this device even when this is a very slim phone and a very slim phone as compared to the liquid e700 it does have a micro sd memory card slot as well and here we have the sim card tray the sim card tray can actually come out from here on this side and once you take the sim card tray you can see that we have a nano sim slot over here this is a single sim phone and we have a micro sd memory card slot as well on this device and again this is a dual sim phone so you can either use the memory uh, card over here or you can use another sim card over here so it has two sim card slot the sim card slot one will accept nano sim the sim card two slot will accept a micro sim and you can also put a micro sd memory card over here in case you would like to use a micro sd memory card in case of the second sim card uh, instead of the second sim card so this so on the storage front we have 16 gb of internal storage and approximately 12.16 gb is available to the user and again you do have support for micro sd memory card and you can install applications on the micro sd memory card and you can move application from the phone memory to the micro sd memory card as well and then you have dts ht premium sound you can control over the treble bass level and music equalizer and video equalizer are also there and you have some presets which you can select from you have some preset for the video as well so you can control the overall quality of sound which you will get from the loudspeaker on this phone apart from this you also have support for tethering as well so you can create a portable wi-fi hookup and share 3g internet you have support for usb tethering and bluetooth tethering is also supported Apart from this, let's take a look over the RAM scenario. As far as RAM is concerned, we have approximately 2 GB of RAM on this device as well, which is the same amount of RAM which you get on E700. Definitely, E700 is a better value for money because it will give you better specifications as compared to this one. But this one is kind of premium looking phone as compared to E700. This is much more premium looking, much better in terms of build quality if you compare it with the Acer Liquid E700, which is also the same phone which has the same hardware as this one has. That one also has 2 GB of RAM, and out of 2 GB of RAM, approximately 1.4 GB of RAM is free on this device, which makes it really responsive. And there is no issue even when you do heavy processing on this device. You do have a dual SIM manager as well, which is the case. And let's take a look over the phone dialer. On the phone dialer, we have this phone dialer, which is kind of a custom phone dialer. And when it comes to making a video call, we do not have the option of making a cellular video call on this device. Let's take a look over the messaging application. On the messaging application front, this is how it looks like. And again, on the messaging application, you can easily type using this swipe keyboard, which comes pre-installed on this phone. So typing is a pretty good experience, and you do get a pop-up as this fill of whatever key which you are pressing, and you can easily type on this device with thick fingers as well as with thin fingers. And again, the thin bezels of this device again make sure that the one-handed usage of the device is. good enough and typing can also be done with one hand as well because the overall form factor of the device is good enough it is very good to hold in one hand and again it is kind of thin in terms of bezel so the overall display can be used with one hand as well i can reach every part of the screen with one hand which is the case and which is definitely a very good feature which Here we have the camera UI, and as you can see, as far as camera is concerned, we have a 13 megapixel camera which can give you very good photos. And we have just taken a photo. I can show you this one. As far as clarity is concerned, the clarity is pretty good on this device. As far as the photo is concerned, and the colors are also being captured very nicely. The color production as well as the clarity, both of these things are good, and the display is also very nice to reflect these colors. And again, the camera quality is pretty decent on this device, even when we are taking the photo in low light as of now. Let me just take the photo of my iPhone 6 over here and show you the quality of the same as well. So we have the iPhone 6 over here now, and let me just do the tap to focus. Again, it does have auto focus in tap to. focus is also supported and once we show you this photo this photo has also came out to be pretty decent in terms of clarity i would say let me just take this photo again i think i shook the device when i took it earlier so we have taken the photo again and this time i can show you this photo which looks good in terms of clarity as well as in terms of color production so the camera quality is pretty good on this device especially even in low light you can expect very good clarity on this device as far as camera is concerned and when we take a look of the front camera i can show you the view from the front camera as well and i will take a photo of myself as of now and again as of now we are against light but the front camera is fixed focus and it has face detection as well So we have just taken the photo, and this is how the photo looks like. I would say the photo looks good enough. As far as the front 2 megapixel camera is concerned, it is a fixed focus camera and it is doing a pretty good job. In case you are not against light, then you will get much better photos. Even this photo, when we were against the flow of the light, the photo has came out to be pretty good in terms of clarity. And again, it is not very clear. It does not have too much details, but it looks good. And definitely, this is one photo you can get from this device from the front camera, which looks good even if we capture it, capture it in low light scenario. So, in all, I would like to say that the Acer Liquid 
jade is kind of a device which is kind of premium for the price uh, again the same hardware you can get for the lower price for acer liquid e700 which is available with the same hardware although the camera is definitely higher on this one you get an 8 megapixel camera on the acer liquid e700 but apart from that everything remains the same everything else as far as display is concerned the display is also same over here but the kind of design and the build quality which you get on the acer liquid jade is something which is lot more premium as compared to acer e700 so do let us know if you have any specific question for this device we would love to help you you can like this video this video help you by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to our youtube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off thank you